the last time venye tuliongea na bwanangu nilimwambia beef nimekumisi utakuta lini ama mtaanza kupewa off siku gani bwanangu akaniambia uh, ile contract tu amesign lazima umalize 3 months ndio aanze kupewa leave ndio akute akaniambia kwa hivyo we usijali si 3 month ni kidogo ngoja 3 month ishe labda mwezi wa 4 leave ikitoka ni mimi mtu wa kwanza nitakuwa nime omba leave ndio nikute tangu aingie somali tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye vizuri hata hiyo Thursday tuliongea na yeye tu vizuri akaniambia kokoa sasa kuanzia Friday jioni kuanzia hapo nikampigia simu mpaka wa leo akumpeta sasa mimi ile kitu yenye ningeomba serikali wate ku, kutuweka kuhusu venye wanatuweka the more wanatuweka ndio tuna afadhali watuambie watuambie kama mabwana zetu wamekufa ama wako hai wasasi nyumbani kila watu analia kila mtu ni kulia kosa to do anything mpaka saa hii ndio kwa balance wanakufanyia counseling hakuna kitu yenye wanakuambia wanakuambia enda nyumbani mtapigiwa simu sasa ukikuta huku nje ndi unapata fununu kama bwanangu anaitwa Ibisi nasemekana Ibisi alipiga simu kambi akasema wako kwa kitaka nikapatana na askari mwingine ananiambia bwanangu alipiga simu alikuwa ameumia alikuwa na breed wenye walikuwa wamemgoda ikafika mahali wakashindwa na yeye na wanataka kukimbia wakamwacha kwa kitaka sasa tunapewa story nyingi zenye tujui kama ni sa uongo na sa ukweli I had a flight towards Soja Swiss ya kwamba uh, form a I form an organization if I can get sponsors ambao wanaweza tusaidia wakati jambo kama hili limetokea mabibi wa askari wote natengwa sana hatupati mtu kusaidia so I had that flight if you can come together kama mabibi za askari we form something wakati jambo limetokea at least we hold the hands together kwa sababu kuna mmoja wetu wanake aliaga na wakati bwanake aliaga this woman is suffering she's in kibera oh yeah you yeah. yeah. have seen nairobi anafua mm. na hapa gilgila alikuwa na kanyumba ya three bedrooms alikuwa na kazi nzuri na mtoto wake so akifuatilia yale mambo ya mzee wake benefits za bwana naambiwa oh pesa zilishatolewa ile kitu yenye ningependa kusema kama bwanangu amefumsika hata mali yako watu wa mabwana setu somali mimi nimeishi kukula 10k nimekula lomu lakini nilikuwa nakula na amani hakuna hata nikule 1000 na ina amani bwanangu angekuwa hapa hata angekuwa ananiletea hiyo 5000 per month ningekuwa na amani ndugu yangu alipoondoka december nilipigia simu January amenipigia simu ikiwa ni tarehe tano saba hapo. Akaniambia happy new year. Nikaona hiyo namba iko na plus. Nikamuliza mwaka tangu uanze uko wapi? Akaniambia sasa hivi nimeingia Somali. Uko Somali upande gani? Akaniambia kambi inaitwa Ilaade uko Somali. From there akaniambia tutakuwa tukiwasiliana sasa namba yangu ndio hiyo. But uh, on Friday usiku nikawa nikapigiwa simu kwanza mchana hiyo friday saa 5 nikasikia taarifa hiyo ya kuwa kambi ya Ilade imefamiwa na alshabab sasa nikawa na tashwishi kwanza kuconfirm kufika usiku shemeja akanipigia simu akaniambia umesikiaje nikamwambia nimesikia tu hivyo tangu hiyo friday tuko mahali hapa tunashukurika tukijaribu kuuliza tunaambiwa tungojee ripoti ya baadaye wapendwa wetu walienda kikazi na hii change imetokea kitu tungeomba serikali ituambie ni nani hako nani ayuko hata sisi tukikaa tutajua tunakaa kwa njia gani sasa hii tuko tuna wasiwasi tunaomba tu serikali itupe mwelekeo na tujue tutafanya nini if it is investing on military let them invest on military let in the budget the military be the first eh? they should at least if we, even if they had the, the tracking devices we could be knowing if our if our, our, our beloved ones are still alive eh? it could have been easy eh? they could have tracked them easily eh? but we, we, when you are told around six days they just enter somalia and you hear such a thing such news eh? but i believe my uncle is fine eh? 
and he's coming back home.